Now, five days for Delhi to vote and the Bharatiya Janata Party, which has left no stone unturned in its election campaign, seems to have hit a roadblock over the election manifesto. Now, the party is unlikely to release a full-fledged manifesto after its senior leaders reportedly failed to agree on the demand for full statehood for the national capital. The party instead will come out with a vision document for Delhi. Kiran Bedi had gone on to tweet her own vision of Delhi, which included a plan for slum dwellers, streamlining of traffic, roads and public transport. The demand for full statehood remains a contentious issue because of the all-important question of who will control the Delhi police, which currently reports to the centre. If Delhi is granted full statehood, law and order will come under the state government, which all political parties have earlier said will solve much of the capital security problems. However, there is no conclusive proof that having police under the state is actually going to improve law and order because crime does exist in many states which have full control of the police. आपको ऐसी विजन मिलने वाली है जो पूर्ण होगी जो हर दिल्लीवासी के लिए होगी हर दिल्लीवासी के लिए चाहे वो कहीं जिले में रहता हो अमीर घर में रहता हो या गरीब घर में रहता हो वंचित हो या उसके पास सब कुछ हो ये ऐसा विजन डॉक्यूमेंट है जो दिल्ली को 2050 के लिए तैयार करेगा ये विजन है दिस इज अ विजन फॉर डेली ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी अ विजन फॉर डेली टू बिकम अ वर्ल्ड क्लास सिटी आई सस्पेक्ट देर इंटेंशन वॉज नॉट ऑनेस्ट if their intention was honest an irs officer should know that in this country the records are required to be kept for 8 years they would not have ordered an audit from 2002 and 3 in 2014 giving an exit route to the companies to claim that they don't have records beyond 8 years and in that process tangle the entire audit into litigation i think it would have been much smarter to get the audit of the last 8 years done first and take appropriate action in the interest of the people of delhi and simultaneously start the process of the rest of the audit so that we could get the whole picture you are also talking about uh, portability of connection so how how does it work out we have introduced the electricity uh, bill amendment act uh, in the winter session of parliament uh, if with these amendments we are separating the carriage and content basically what we are doing is bringing in competition and portability into the electricity sector and we will allow competition among suppliers to give lower tariffs to the consumers to give better service to the consumers to guarantee 24 by 7